Well, the Arizona Cardinals finished their season with five wins and 11 losses. In fact, they lost 11 or 10 of their last 12 games. And now the team is moving forward. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Steve Irvin. Paul Calvisi is live at the Cardinals facility in Tempe. As Black Monday strikes the Cardinals, Paul, uh, not very much of a surprise here. No, not totally. Although the head coach might be a bit of a surprise today. As yes, the ball will drop tonight in Times Square, but earlier today the axe fell here in Tempe. We are talking about the GM Rod Graves, who goes back to 1997 with his organization, and the head coach Ken Wisenant, who was hired in 2007, took the Cardinals to a pair of NFC West titles. Obviously, the Super Bowl in 2008 campaign as well. Both relieved of their duties today, terminated both with a year left on their contract. And as Michael Bidwell said just moments ago, the Cardinals team president, well, it wasn't easy. Today was a uh, very tough day, but it's part of the business in the NFL. Um, it's a tough day because both Rod Graves and Ken Wisenhunt are really good people. I've worked with them for many years. In Ken's case, six seasons. In Rod's case, uh, 15 or 16 seasons. And so both really good people, really good families who worked really hard to um, put this team in a position where it is and get us to our first ever Super Bowl appearance. All right, the team GM Rod Gray spotted leaving the facility earlier today, even waving to the cameras here. Grace, as we said, has been with the team since 97, GM since 2006. He was part of, you know, ushering the team into the 21st century and getting them there, but an inability to solve the offensive line, the QB situation, and more, that means there are changes. Both the GM and the head coach, and Michael Bidwell elaborated on that. The parameters are the, the person that I feel like is going to take the organization forward. So I'm going to be um, interviewing uh, coaches that have got former NFL head coaching experience, uh, college coaches, as well as coordinators uh, in the league. All right, Wizen on issuing this statement on his tenure saying, quote, I'm very proud of what we as a team and as an organization achieved during that time. Collectively, we accomplished some very special, unprecedented things. That's a testament to the dedication, the hard work, the talent of so many coaches, players, and people throughout the organization. As for Ken Wizenhunt, here's how his time breaks down with the Cardinals. Hired in 2007, the former OC with the Steelers. Of course, he took the Cardinals to a pair of NFC West titles, and then they had the run to the Super Bowl, but they had a sub-500 record in some, although he is the winningest coach in Cardinals history, and he is fired with $5.5 million reportedly still left on his contract. So those are some of the uh, details on that. Of course, they went to six playoff games as well. He had four wins. So. Just to recap and to tell you where the Cardinals are going forward, we'll throw out a few names that were confirmed moments ago. Andy Reid, Mike McCoy, and the defensive coordinator Ray Horton. Those are some of those names. As for our in-house sports analyst Tom Zenner, here's his take. Black Monday in the NFL took on a very bright shade of red today, which is only fitting because that's pretty much been the color of Cardinals fans' faces as they dealt with one embarrassing Sunday after another this fall. Now, after Ken Wisenhunt and most of his offensive staff, along with Rod Graves, were let go today, you'd have to be an absolute fool to be surprised or to have not seen it coming. Now, while you always hate to see people lose their jobs, Everybody that works in the NFL knows what they sign up for. And this is what happens when you go from a team that was seconds away from winning the Super Bowl to being a team that was so inept at offense that a simple thing like a passing touchdown occurred about as frequently as a lunar eclipse. In my opinion, this is not a sad day for Cardinal fans. The move by Michael Bidwell shows that there is accountability for total failure across the board. I applaud him for doing something bold. But while he just got done doing the easy thing, a very hard thing awaits. Finding the right replacement, because all that's at stake is the future of the franchise. We're going to find out real soon from the Cardinals owner if being a playoff contender, like the Cardinals were early in Wisenhunt's tenure, are the expectation for Bidwell or just a blip on the radar screen of a franchise that's had a lot of Black Mondays over the year. All right, let's send it back out now to Paul Calvisi at the Cardinals facility. 
All right, thank you, Tom. Yes, Michael Bidwell saying, look, it came down to wins and losses. The rest of the division, they are escalating upwards. They are trending upwards. The Cardinals obviously coming off a 5-11 and season. He was also asked, Steve, if Ken Wisenhunt was given a choice with reduced personnel powers to stay on, and he just offered an abrupt and blunt no. It was his decision, and that was to fire Ken Wisenhunt. By the way, I'm told that Wisenhunt, they're keeping an eye on him in San Diego and Buffalo. He might end up there in the very near future. Steve, back to you. Yeah, hard to believe. Super Bowl in 2008 down to 5-11 and 11 in just uh, four years. So uh, hard to argue with that decision. Thank you, Paul. We'll check back with you later.